Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be vinyl pickups for the month of May. Um, I didn't do April at all because I didn't really go to the record store and I, and I didn't really find anything when I did. Um, but luckily May was a pretty solid month, I would say. Um, I did find some stuff I was looking for specifically, so I was really excited about that. Um, first one up here is first set of records is going to be from Hippo Records, the usual spot I go to here in Greensboro. Um, this is Steve Miller Band's The Joker. Um, I was kind of looking for this one. Um, I did have another Steve Miller record and I, I like the song The Joker, so I just kind of picked it up just because of that alone. Um, I don't really know any of the other songs on here, but I'm excited to take a listen to it. So there's a back a little bit and the skateboard open. Like that. Alright, second one from that batch. Um, Prince, Purple Rain. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, admittedly, I'm not really a Prince fan. Um, I don't know that many songs from him. But, you know, I saw this and I figured why not. Especially it was, what, three bucks? Um, so I, I didn't want to pass on that opportunity. And it was in pretty nice condition, too. And again, I don't know if any of these are like reprints or reissues or whatever. Like, again, I don't really care about that unless it's a really awful condition or something um, so I'm just happy to pick this up for a pretty low price all right next one up is one I was really excited to see for its price is Judas Priest screaming for vengeance um, kind of kind of grew up on this um, album a little bit my dad would always play a lot of the songs from it um, he would always play the, the Helion and into electric guy and we, we would always listen to that in the car and stuff so that was always fun but um, yeah I played it and I listened to it entirely it sounds really good there's no skips or anything on it um, and again, really happy to find it for only four bucks. All right, and the next one, last one from that batch is this one I was really excited about. This is probably my favorite pickup of the vi of the video here. Um, I was thinking about saving it for last, but I just kind of wanted to do it in uh, chronological order. But I was looking for this one. It's Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Um, now this is for those who may not know. This was a band that Ronnie James Dio was in before he joined Black Sabbath and went on to do his own thing. Um, and I, yeah, I just, I heard, you know, I've, I've known the, the song Man on the Silver Mountain from it, and, you know, I like that song a lot. I kind of heard a couple of others um, prior to me buying it. And I was on the lookout for it, and I was kind of, it was kind of more of a, like a, of a stretch for me to kind of find it. I was kind of, I was hoping to find it, but never think, think I would, but I was really happy. It was, oh, the price is on the sleeve here. It was eight bucks, but um, definitely happy for that price because it's one I don't see often at all. Uh, here's a the jacket and the back's kind of basic but there you go so i was really happy about those um it started off the month pretty strong um i didn't really go too often after that i think i only went one other time and this is where that second batch comes from um and there were some okay pickups in there but like i said the highlight was the the rainbow one but it did, there was some good ones here including this one carol king tapestry this one my girlfriend kind of saw and picked out from the bunch um, really wanted to get it because we did have another Carol King one and this is kind of the more popular one anyway So we just wanted to have it for the collection it does open up here for a cool cape fold And the back has songs and lyrics on it and three bucks. So again, not, not a bad price at all um, The second one's kind of kind of ra random my girlfriend picked it out again. This is a uh, chilling thrilling sounds of the haunted house um, it's basically like a just kind of sound effects and there's like some narration and stuff going on with like some spooky like wind blowing and like cats kind of you know meowing and scratching at a crap. Um, it was just kind of a random thing. It was in the dollar area of this of this uh, record store, so we figured why not? Um, just something funny to have, and it says Disneyland Record on it, so just just on that basis alone, it was funny. And it does have this kind of weird um, like. I guess one of those like label things like from it looks like from like a label maker type of thing it says sound effects slash disney um so i wonder if this was in I don't, i'm not claiming this is rare or anything but i wonder if this was in like kind of in circulation only at disneyland or something i don't know but it just because this is kind of prominently out there doesn't look like it belongs on there uh, normally um i just thought that was interesting um, next one up here, this one I was pretty excited to see um, because I was kind of getting into this band a little bit because they kind of popped up on my YouTube recommended randomly and I thought that was pretty cool. This is a band called Fanny. Uh, the album is Rock and Roll Survivors. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to listen to this album. It's actually the last album by this band um, who did let go of their one of their founding members. 
Um, but I did want to pick it up because they're kind of one of the hidden gem bands of the 70s that didn't really get um, a lot of attention, obviously mainstream. And um, yeah, I, I've heard of a couple of their songs I thought was pretty cool. So I basically just picked this up on that basis alone. Um, here's the back end, three bucks. And it's in okay condition. The back's kind of water marked here. Um, but it's okay. And I'm really happy to see it, uh, see it in the stores because I was looking for a Fanny record um, just to kind of get more into that band anyway. So really happy about this one too. And the last one is an album I do have already on CD, but I did want to pick it up on vinyl just because I think it, it has a pretty cool artwork. It's a Jethro Tull's Aqualung. Um, pretty, pretty crazy um, imagery here. And it's like, you know, progressive rock from the... 60s, 70s? I'm, I'm not sure what the date. Um, but anyways, it was really cool to see it because I was kind of looking forward to this one. Um, I do want to get albums that I have on CD on vinyl. Uh, maybe not my entire collection because I do have a lot of more CDs than vinyl. But um, this is one of the more obscure ones I was kind of hoping to add in vinyl form. Um, so I was really happy to add that to the collection and for only three bucks. Um, not bad. Oh, and I did forget to mention this uh, second batch of vinyl was from a little store in Greensboro here called CFBG. Um, um, they're kind of located in like a smoke shop area. So if you're ever in the area, check them out as well because they do have pretty good selection and prices just like Hippo Records does. I'm not sponsored by any of them, by the way. This is just my recommendation. So uh, that'll be it, guys, for the video. Um, leave a comment down below which what kind of vinyls you picked up this month. Uh, for the month of may or april um which ones of mine did you like and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much